Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. So, let's just see what we got. So, what do we have for Leo for the week of August 17th through the 23rd? This is quite a stack. You will be receiving a precious gift. Receiving or giving. Okay, I forgot. I didn't see the giving. So you could be receiving or giving a precious gift. Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Coins. Money will be coming to you. This is quite a stack, like I said. Danger. Especially in money matters. Interesting. You need to be careful with your money, apparently. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Sunrise. New creative ideas. New ventures. A fresh start. You got a fresh start here. Wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble. 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 Allowing your... <laughs> indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly and wealth so this is about wealth you are focused on your wealth this week aren't you you really are I know that you are you're focused on your possessions right uh, it's clear it's clear that you're focused on your possessions um, You're probably in a dangerous situation. You may be in, uh, you may be, you know, focusing on keeping some possessions. It feels like you're in danger. You're in danger of losing some of your wealth. I know that's what this is. I know that's what this is. So I think that you are worrying needlessly because I think that money is going to be coming to you. Okay, it is going to be coming to you, but you got to be careful with what you're asking for. Okay, because it feels like you're asking for too much, and I'm just being honest with you. Maybe you need to lower your expectations a little bit. You know, this does say wealth, right? It does. But true wealth comes from inside. It's not about the money that you have in the bank or the things or the house or the car. So you guys are, it's about this week you're really focused on your money. But I think that you are probably in danger of losing something. And I think your expectations are set up too high. I do. Um, you are going to be having pleasure with a close friend by the looks of thing, Looks of things. Okay. Too much concern with sexual matters and pleasure with a close friend. So, you know, that's a factor this week. Um, you got a fresh start that is coming. You're going to be receiving or giving a precious gift. And, you know, the wheel can mean so many things. This card happens to say... You know, that you're allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. You need to take the wheel. You need to take control of your life. Okay? You need to make a decision. This indecisiveness is not serving you. I feel as though you guys have your expectations very high in regards to something materialistic. Whether it's a car that you don't want to get rid of, but you can't afford. Or it's a home. You know, maybe you need to, if you're worried about your money, maybe you need to sell it. And you need to not put the price so high. I think the price is high. The price is too high. That's, that's, that's how I feel. That is how I feel. Um, anyhow, so what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo for the week ahead? The devil. The devil reversed. Now, this is uh, codependency. This is extremely materialistic. It is. So we have somebody here that is under social pressure. That I mean, this is ego. 
You know, it could be you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. But don't point the finger at somebody else. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn that you need to break free from. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but this is an unhealthy situation. And this is a very, this is a very materialistic. This is tied to a situation that you must break free from. This is an obsession, extremely obsessed. You must free yourself from an unhealthy situation and don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the materialistic things. If you want to break free from something that isn't healthy, who cares about the things? But if you have an ego, which the devil is all about ego, or and so isn't, you know, unfortunately Leo, I'm just telling you the truth. Um... And you got to have those things, and that's more important to you than breaking free. Well, then you're going to suffer because this is extremely suffering, extreme suffering. So you must free yourself from the need to stay in something just because of the materialistic value. So this, this week, you, you need to take control. And this is about taking control. And this is interesting. This is about taking control as well. You need to take control. You gotta, you, There's too much indecisiveness. You know, I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it. Well, then you're going to stay trapped. You're going to stay in this uh, period of suffering. If you can't get rid of it because of its materialistic value, then you're going to suffer. Emperor reversed. So the emperor reversed is not interested, not interesting, not not interested, not taking responsibility, only looking out for their own good. This could be somebody else. You could be married to somebody. You could be connected to somebody, attached to somebody that, if it's not you, that has a big ego. But you have to take ownership as well. Don't don't just point the finger at somebody else. Make sure that you are questioning your own motives. The emperor in reverse is out of control. This is somebody that is not very experienced, that is under extreme social pressure, okay, to look a certain way. The emperor in reverse is uh, very needy, power hungry, okay, um, is on the wrong side of the law. You may be dealing, this could be a husband or a father or or. It even could be you. This is somebody that is unhealthy. There could be some addictions here. There's a big ego here. There is, uh, this is being unreasonable, not very experienced, definitely indecisive, controlling. Manipulative. You've got a lot of manipulation here. I'm not sure if you're being manipulated by somebody. You could be. This is manipulation. You need to take control. You need to make a decision. This is indecisiveness. You need to make a decision. <clears throat> don't let, don't worry about what your followers or your people are going to think. If you are worried about what other people are going to think, that is your ego talking. Queen of Swords reversed. Now the Queen of Swords in reversed is an individual that... Well... Not... <coughs> I mean... There could be a loss of words. There's a lack of communication. There's difficult communication here. There could be some bad news that is coming. This is lack of, of intelligence, honestly. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that doesn't think. Isn't thinking clearly. Lack of clarity. very hard to deal with. You could, you know, uh, 
There could be a miscommunication here as well with the Queen of Swords reversed. Now, the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is very selfish. In reverse, she is. You could be taking on that energy or you're dealing with this person. I'm sure a lot of you are pointing the finger, right? Because I do see lack of taking ownership. It's not me. Now, the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is very vindictive, very revengeful. Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is blunt, direct communication. Uh, the Knight of Swords is somebody that takes risks. Somebody is about to, it feels like this person is about to say something. Somebody's about to say something or they're, they're going to, the sword isn't up. The sword is down. So they're not, they may not be communicating right now, but there is some sort of action that is about to be taken. This is a fighter, some sort of fighter, somebody placing blame. Oh, that's what I just heard. This is blaming. Only looking out for themselves. We've got somebody here that is very selfish that only looks out for themselves. This is somebody that is single-minded. You have to make a decision. Many of you, prop, maybe you, maybe you, you, this is, this is codependency and this is too, I mean, it can be because the Queen of Swords in the upright is somebody that is very independent. So this is lack of independence by the looks of things, you know, not wanting to be independent or not a very independent thinker. You know, we got somebody here that's very, very worried about what everybody else is going to say. I see that and I feel it very strongly. You need to make a decision. Okay? You need to make a, a logical decision. And I feel as though this week you need to put some plans in action. You need to stop procrastinating and you need to take control of a situation. You're going to need to be assertive. You need to get your ass in gear. Stop wasting your time. Magician, this is take action right now. Magician is take action. Do something about it. This is about shedding the old. The, the magician sheds the old and to bring in the new. This brings success. This is a golden opportunity for you to have something new. But in order for you to have something new, you're going to have to do something. You have to take charge. So Leo, I feel like you have to take charge of a situation. You have to take ownership. You have to take control. This is about taking control. I think that you, you know, you've been holding on to something, wanting more, wanting more. You know, I want more for this. I want more for this. No. Take what you can get and get the hell out. I think that, you know, this is about resources, right? It's about the, all the resources. It's about you keeping something. If it's not good for you, if it's draining you, if it's making you, if it's turning you into a bitch, if it's making you bitter, if it's uh, holding you back from success, you got to get rid of it. To hell with the materialistic value. If it's stealing your peace. If you're suffering financially and you're worried about your finances, get rid of it. Anyhow. <sighs> the magician takes action to bring success. I think things are a little crazy in your life right now. And I think that you're bound to something that really has no value other than money. All it is is materialistic value. That's it. 
And this is somebody that is power hungry. Okay. This is this and this, whatever this situation is, it has complete power over you right now. This, this devil energy that this is completely unhealthy. It's, it's got complete power over you because you're not taking action this week. You need to take action. You're being controlled. You're being controlled by, I don't know, materialism. Or another individual. And I'm sure that you're pointing at another individual, right? You have the skills. You have the resources within you. To break free from whatever this is. You don't need it. Get rid of it. Three of Swords. This is heartache. This is separation. And I feel like you don't want to separate. You know, I think that you're, you, you don't want to separate from something. But it's only hurting you. Whatever this is, it's only hurting you. It's not helping you. This is, this is a painful separation from something or someone. Could be dealing with a father. doesn't have to be a father could be an ex I do feel like it's a masculine energy with these three cards I think it's a masculine I think that you need to find your strength and it maybe it's something of your father's maybe it's something you know that is connected to your father somehow or it's the father of your children something like that anyhow um, you have to take action strength we'll take a look at that it's gonna take strength it's gonna you're gonna have to be brave this is bravery courage right now you know you have to f find the ability within yourself to master your emotions and take charge of a situation you do this is about taking charge I think that uh, you probably need to protect yourself I feel like you've got somebody that is planning on you know it feels like they they need you for some reason somebody needs you or this knight of swords this is somebody that is probably planning something they are planning something maybe you don't see it because this is lack of clarity this is you. You don't see it. But this is somebody that is, is scheming. Okay? This is somebody that moves very, very fast. I feel like you you um, have skills. You have skills. You're in some... You need to solve something. There's a problem here that you need to solve. Two cups. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now this is unstable. Unstable. Insecure. Uh, possessive. Materialistic. This is materialistic. More interested in money than anything. The Queen of Pentacles in reversed is, is very focused on things. And you could certainly take on that energy. This is an energy here. I think you need to find your courage to take action with somebody that has hurt you, that you are still bound to. And I think you're still bound to this person because you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence deal with it whatever it is you got to deal with something but there's obsessiveness here there is there is obsessiveness 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 
This is enjoying control. If you were to look up the strength card, this is enjoying control. You may enjoy the power, the control that this gives you. I feel like you have the power. You, This is power and this is power. You have the power to break free from this situation, but you're not. Because it's something that you don't want to give up. And maybe it's because, you know, it's, it's, it's when you are, you enjoy, when you have won, okay, this is like, I have complete control here. When you have complete control, that's ego. You know, when you feel really, I mean, it's good to have control, yes. But this is enjoying the power, enjoying the control. Interesting. Now, the Two of Cups is a union. We have a union here, and this is manifested. You probably have a new opportunity here. This is a golden opportunity for a partnership after being hurt, but you're indecisive. So I feel like you you have to make a decision, obviously. But I think that you are tied to a situation that is toxic, so you can't completely move into a new union. This is a union, so you do have a union here. That is perfect for you. But there's, there could be an X in the way or, you know, uh, there's lack of independence here. You're still tied to something. Or there's financial insecurity. This is fi the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is feeling financially insecure or somebody that is financially insecure. Very jealous, very possessive, very materialistic. Whatever this is, it's really hurting you. So this is this is this is pain. This is suffering, and this is suffering as well. You could be dealing with an individual that is nasty, that is causing you pain. Could be somebody's ex or somebody's wife, you know what I mean? Could be even a mother. Could be a mother. Could be a father. There is somebody here that is probably causing you some problems. I think you guys have gotten yourselves involved in a toxic situation that you need to break free from. But you need to find the courage and the strength to do it. And the reason that you haven't done it is because there's some sort of... Uh, monetary value in holding on to it and the fact that you have some sort of power it gives you some sort of power you know or it makes you look good or something like that anyhow this two of cups is a union it is a partnership there's a potential I mean this is calling in something and this is a soulmate you may have called in a soulmate you may have a soulmate connection here. But if you're still tied to something that is unhealthy, well, you got to take care of that first now, don't you? One more card. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, you could deal with another Leo, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Gemini a couple times. You have Aries and you have Capricorn. This is Capricorn. This is Capricorn too. This is Aries, Gemini, Leo, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you have Capricorn three times. You have Aries. You could even say this was an Aries as well. You have Aries a couple times. Um, you have an opportunity for a perfect match okay this is a soulmate connection but you have to take action to break free from something that isn't serving you first this comes first okay this is first and maybe if you're if you're waiting for that oper this golden opportunity this golden partnership this golden union because this is a golden opportunity that you manifest you're waiting for it hasn't come in yet right you're suffering you're in some sort of pain you're just like ugh when is this going to come well when you take action to break free 
from a toxic situation that is based on codependency, obsession, greed. It's unhealthy. You have to break free from it first. Period. This is first. But this is heartbreaking. This is suffering. And I do feel like a lot of you are suffering. You're suffering right now. Somebody may have lied. They may have done something that was unjust. The Queen of Swords does something, and it could be you. So please don't point the finger at another person. It could be somebody else, but it certainly could be you. This is unjust. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is... Uh, not very grounded, very possessive, a financial mess. This is probably a financial mess. I believe that it is. We may have a union here that is in some sort of financial turmoil. Somebody needs to take action. But finding the strength and the courage to do so is needed. Okay? Okay. Anyhow, um, one more card. Ooh, the Hierophant. This is somebody that is under a lot, in reversed. This is somebody that is under a lot of social pressures, having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. Feel free to look it up. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. At all. And there's probably a split or a divorce or something like that. Or a separation. Or it's it could be even a thing that you need to get rid of. But there's holding on to it. There's holding on to it. Because of uh, money. Because of because of money. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You must take action. You must. This is total financial insecurity. That stems from insecurities within yourself. There's a need for discipline. You must take action. You must. There's happiness at the end of the road. There's happiness when you break free from this situation. But I, I, I see a lot of fear here. And you need to replace that fear with faith. And if you're holding on to something because you like the control, or you like the power, or because of materialistic, you want more money, those are all the wrong reasons. This is not living the good life. There is an opportunity to live the good life. There is. There's an opportunity for a very compatible union. But this opportunity for a compatible union comes after you break free from something that isn't meant for you. It's almost like a reward for hard work. A reward for doing the right thing. A reward for taking care of yourself. But you got to remember it. And I know a lot of people don't believe in God or whatever. God gives you everything to survive. You can't take any of this with you when you die. Nothing. Would you rather be happy? Would you rather have peace? Would you rather be secure Internally? Or would you rather live in misery with that thing? Good luck.